Hi everyone, in this video I will walk you through creating a customized CI-CD workflow using a CDO.ai developer control plan and Amazon's cloud development kit, the CDK, and deploy a containerized workload on Elastic Container Service, the ACS. So let's get started. On the left side, we have the CDO.ai developer control plan and on the right side is the infrastructure side hosted on AWS. You can manage the secrets and configs through teams for different workflows, whether it's from Slack, the CDO.ai's platform or the CLI. Although it's possible to manage configs from Slack and the CLI, many customers prefer to populate the values ahead of time from the web UI. In this case, the infrastructure creates these configs such as the Fargate state. For the purpose of this video, we are going to use this sample React application to create the infrastructure on AWS using our developer control plan. In this repository, we have an ops YAML file that contains the configuration for our pipeline and service. In this ops YAML file, we have configured one pipeline and one service. The pipeline will build the sample React pipeline source code to get it ready for the environment that we want to create. The service sample React will get the environment up and running on AWS. There are four typical workflows in common stacks, which are setup, deploy, destroy, and use the VOD command. The setup is used to provision the AWS infrastructure. The deploy will deploy the application into the AWS. The destroy will destroy the infrastructure there. And the vault command can be used to easily manage secrets in the platform or integrate with an external secret manager. So the developers can deploy into any environment. Once you have published this command to the developer control plan, you can run it either remotely or locally. In this case, we are going to execute this command locally. If you want to learn more about what are commands, pipelines, and services, you can either check on the video or the documentation linked below. Now back at command execution, you need to make sure you are under the correct local repository that contains the YAML file, so the CLI will recognize it and execute it. Then you can run the deploy command either in your terminal or Slack in order to run and build the YAML file remotely. This state is used by CDO.ai to manage the resources that were deployed, which is in sync with the team's config. Once we have the workflow completed and the service is up and running on the AWS, you should see the application is up and running and it can be tested by the team. All your workflows will be integrated with the platform where you can see all the commands, pipelines, and services published and available for all the team members. The deploys can also be performed through pull request or any other supported event trigger that the platform receives from GitHub. Those GitHub events will be sent over to the platform where you can gain insights into Dora metrics. And those same events will be updated on the CloudFormation stack on AWS. As you can see, the developer control plan makes it simple for developers to build, deploy, and measure software's delivery. Improve your developer experience today. If you would like to dive deep into more complex scenarios to fit your project custom commands, pipeline, and services, or how you can configure your infrastructure as code using other cloud providers such as DigitalOcean, GCP, Azure, and much more, those videos are linked below. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at sales at Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.